Fusion GPS was founded by former investigative reporters, and it claims to provide premium research strategic intelligence and due diligence services to corporations, law firms, and investors. Fusion's many clients have included a conservative publication and a law firm. The Washington Free Beacon hired Fusion to research multiple candidates in the GOP primaries. The law firm needed help with research to defend a Russian company in litigation. It seems straightforward enough, but it actually got very confusing. Let's start with the opposition research. This isn't typical for a news organization, so it's worth noting that billionaire GOP donor Paul Singer provides financial support to the Washington Free Beacon. Eventually, the Free Beacon dropped out. Fusion offered to continue their research for the Clinton campaign in the Democratic National Committee. Mark Elias, a lawyer representing both, and his law firm agreed. They funded Fusion's research until days before the 2016 election. In that time, Fusion hired former British intelligence agent Christopher Steele to support their efforts. His research largely focused on Trump's business dealings in Russia. He eventually produced a salacious dossier that suggested the Kremlin could blackmail President-elect Trump. That dossier made its way to reporters, the FBI, and members of Congress. At the same time, Fusion was hired by a law firm, Baker & Hotstetler, to help support in the defense of a Russian company. Hermitage Capital Management was the alleged victim and is headed by William Browder. Browder was once a top investor in Russia, but he had a falling out with the Russian government. So he hired Sergei Meninsky, who was a Russian tax accountant, to investigate the alleged theft from his Russian companies. Meninsky was arrested and died in prison in 2009 under suspicious circumstances. His case led to the passage in 2012 of the Sergei Meninsky Act, which imposed sweeping sanctions on Russia. This led Russia to block U.S. parents from adopting Russian orphans. Now here's where the two storylines merge. Baker and Hotstedler, the law firm, was also involved in a lobbying campaign against the Meninsky Act. And information that Fusion GPS uncovered to support the Russian company made its way into that campaign. This crisscross of information led Browder to file a complaint with the Justice Department accusing Fusion of failing to register as a lobbyist for foreign interests. Fusion says its work was related to the lawsuit, not the lobbying. Meanwhile, people who were associated with the anti-Meninsky lobbying effort did meet with members of the Trump campaign, including Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law, and then-campaign manager Paul Manafort. In other words, Fusion with GPS was working on behalf of Russian-linked interests at the same time they were investigating Donald Trump, which would be against Russian interests. But hey, this is Washington. It may not look pretty, but hired guns work for whoever pays the bills.